For a decade, Kelly Crawford was one of the stars of children's TV group High Five. Now she's found herself at the centre of a fierce row for a sexy photo shoot in a racy men's magazine. It's Kelly as you've never seen her before. She's uh, turning from a kid's TV star to a major, major hottie. From high five to a perfect ten, Kelly Crawford wants everyone to know that her days of doing kids' TV are well and truly over. Santi, what have you done to our good, wholesome high five girl? Well, um, we've turned it into a very hot, sexy, sexy woman, I guess, um, and that's something that she wanted to do. The former star of High Five couldn't have made a bolder statement, posing as the cover girl for this month's Ralph magazine. Yeah, well, she's used to wearing colourful or singing or dancing clothing, um, and basically she's, uh, she's done her first ever men's mag lingerie shoot. Will people be shocked to see Kelly like this? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of people will be shocked. I think a lot of um, the mums maybe that were taking their kids to high five will, will go, oh, what is she doing now? Hi, I'm Tim. Hi, I'm Kelly. This is how most of us know Kelly. The popular all singing, all dancing girl from high five. One, two, three, four, high five. But after 10 years of this, Kelly wants a new career, according to Ralph editor Santi Pintado. She basically wants to get into more, uh, act, more adult acting roles and she wants to be seen as a woman now because the, her, the perception of her is that she is actually still a child star. There are other ways to be a real woman uh, other than exposing yourself in a lads magazine. The provocative photo shoot has copped criticism from women's groups all day. Melinda tankard Reist is from Women's Forum Australia and says the magazine sends the wrong message to Kelly's little fans. It is disappointing when someone uh, who should have more of a, a sense of a duty of care to her, her fan base goes and does this. The kids understand that, you know, she's gone. They would be very sorry that she's left High Five. She was wonderful. But they're not going to know that she's got her jugs out on a, on a magazine, a men's magazine, for goodness sake. Social commentator Prue McSween reckons the buxom blonde is a bombshell. And she's saying, OK, I'm making a statement. I want to be seen as an adult. I'm a sexy, fabulous-looking woman, and I'm out there and I'm telling the world. But what about the children? Well, the children don't read Ralph. Now, no-one is saying Kelly needed to wear those high-five outfits and sing those cute little tunes for the rest of her life. No-one is saying that. But there are other ways to, to be a real woman that don't involve objectification and being reduced to the sum of your body parts. Before Kelly, there was Nikki. The young star of the Sydney Olympics posed for another lads magazine, also desperately trying to change her image. Of course it created a lot of uh, media attention, but it, it was fun, it was a great opportunity and it, a lot of people, I guess, see that iconic image of, of me in the sundress and put me in a time capsule and even though everyone else was getting older, they forgot that I was growing up. And really it sends a message that, you know, to prove that you're a woman, to show you're grown up and mature, this is what you do. So many celebrities have ended up this way and she's another one. Women's liberation is liberating women so they can make choices. This is a beautiful woman and if she chooses to decide that she is going to have her breasts out and do this cover, then good luck to her. Oh, good luck to her. I hope it does what she wants. And Kelly Crawford said the controversial shoot was an important career step and had the support of her husband, Adam.